There was a record turnout Sunday for the second annual Arts Walk in Hingham Square. The Hingham Downtown Association and Hingham Cultural Council sponsor the free event. Adults and children could walk from shop to shop, including the home and studio of, of artist Jack Dickerson. His house on Main Street had a colorful interior where his large, bold artwork was displayed. Local businesses hosted the artist. It's been a fabulous day, a great turnout. So many people have come by, and they're working by with the children in mass, and the children were so well behaved. Real family outing, and it's perfect. What artists do you have here? Uh, Joan Drescher is the premier artist. She's the feature artist that we're hosting. Uh, we're also hosting Janet King. <laughs> and uh, Joan's work is just fabulous. She's outside right now as we're talking, a drawing on the street. Stars here for wishing. <laughs> Okay, this is Eden in the wish balloon, and I'm putting her in the wish balloon so that she can make a wish, and Eden, what do you wish for? Kitty or a dog? I have a dog and cat. Well, how about something else? Panda bear. A panda bear, okay. And at Winston Flowers at the corner of Main and South Streets, Hingham artist Sandra Allen showed four pencil on paper pencil sketches of trees. The event also had interactive art exhibits for adults and kids. At the Dot Gallery on North Street, Main sculptor Ed Bagley operated his incredible self-portrait machine, an invention that lets non-artists look into a mirror and create drawings of their faces by using a stylus. The kids really enjoyed it. Yeah, keep going. I can see the eyes. That's the nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the hair. Nice like hair. Nice hair. So your, smile, your smiles are really... Oh, very nice. nice one. Good. A little kind of a uh, cubist. This is Sue Scheibel reporting for the Patriot Ledger. For complete coverage, see today's edition of the newspaper or go to patriotledger.com.